So we have created another one of these episodes, and not a happy bunny one, which it is. I am kind of pissed off about this one, and if you don't understand why, you're just a racist fucking bigot. So, what happened yesterday or the other day was quite fucking hilarious, I thought, at first, and then it got really worse, like... Really, really bad, and the media went fucking insane. I did too, when I found out about all this. I didn't even want to make this episode. But it looks like I'm going to be talking about Burnley and their football match. I don't like football. But now I'll have to get political about it. Fine. Here we go. So what happened at Burnley's match yesterday, which they lost 5-0. That's all I'm going to say about the game. Uh... Yeah, they lost 5-0, but before the match, they all decided to take a knee and wear Black Lives Matter t-shirts. Because they're a football club and they shouldn't be associated with politics. Good luck with your fan base after this is fucking over. But the highlight of the day, or the highlight of the horrible events that happened during the events... A uh, plane with the banner of White Lives Matter Burnley flew over the stadium. And it devastated all the boys. They could not manage they couldn't manage their fucking hysteria of white lies fucking matter. Holy shit. And then what happened after that was fucking insane. Like they went absolutely nuts. And here's the article that's presented here, uh, which is titled, Embarrassing for Burnley in Air End of the Pitch. This is mostly about the, the football match, but they, pref they prefer to say something about what happened during that very racist event, which I'm going to come to that two-faced fucking de decision. Burnley executives was... Sculling around the posh seats of the F-Field Stadium throughout the first half coming up with a statement between them that would quite lightly condemn the fans who flown a wide lies matter Burnley banner over the ground as players were taking a knee because you shouldn't be taking a knee. The, the old you should take a little bit of Pedro or Dominic Lab's book when he did that, because that was good of him to actually mention it. Let's continue. It was a brutal night for Burnley. Yeah, they lost 5 0. A number of their fans embarrassed by. Sorry, embarrassed. Uh, sorry, <laughs> I can't fucking lead, I'm so stressed. Um, a number of the fans embraced the club by flying. Antatomic message above the stadium that, sorry, just as the players were taking a knee, Burnley did the right thing, condemning the act, and um, me and Deitch spoke of the disgust towards the fans too. Fuck in hell. How two-faced do you have to fucking sound? Wow. Fuck in hell. And... It is that I don't think I know how I did that because that, that's fucking two faced. You're a football match. You're supposed to be okay with this. You're supposed to manage. You can handle criticism. I thought you guys were getting lace or abuse from all your fucking players because they're black. Oh, wait. Isn't the entirety of England's fucking teams as black now? Because they're actually good football players. But maybe I'm just long. Maybe I'm just racist. But this is so fucking two-faced. This is, this is so fucking two-faced. Here's another article as well. Burnley apologise over planes. White Lives Matter banner. Oh, <laughs> Burnley. You have to apologise for that? How fucking woke do you have to fucking go? The police launched an investigation into an aircraft which apparently... Funded by some Burnley supporters that told the message White Lives Matter Burnley oh, over the airfield stadium last night. Wow. Fuck. 
Fucking hell. An actual police investigation? Why? What the fuck? Why? A police investigation? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. This, this is the bit I don't get. This is a bit a lot of people don't get. There's two of them. There's two things. Um, Black Lives Matter protests. Go on for weeks. Tear down statues. Breaking businesses. Hurting people. Punching people. Kicking people. Cutting, taking down statues. Breaking things. Destroying property. Killing cops. Killing things. Killing people. T going after the TV shows. Jesus Christ. Songs. TV. Statues. And British culture right now but it's all right when that's fine you can do all that stuff because it's black lives matter because we can just kill everyone we fucking want because we're a bunch of racist fucks we really are aren't we but when it comes to the white lives matter b ban again showing up nah we cannot take that at all nah nah near at all because that is so offensive. Because I could not think of anything more offensive than white p people getting privilege. That's just fucking racist. Like it was described here by like white supremacists on the ITV, The View here. It shouldn't need saying, but perhaps it does, that the Black Lives Matter movement is a cry of protest, of rage even, at the basic injustice of decades of ingrained discrimination and abuse. So a banner that appeared above a football game tonight was, in the circumstances, particularly inflammatory. Why lives matter, it said. Well, on the face of it, yes, of course, all lives matter. But in the context of those protests against injustice, many have found it deeply offensive, including Burnley Football Club itself, which said it is working to identify those responsible for the offensive message. Geraint is here. Look, in the context of all these people trying to bring everyone's attention to the injustice they've been feeling for decades and decades and been subjected to, this is really not what anyone wanted to say. Well, I mean, and it happened at uh, a Premier League game this evening, mm. Manchester City playing at home uh, against Burnley and shortly after the game mm. kicks off, well, we can see some pictures now, I think, some photographs in the skies above the Etihad. There appeared a plane flying a banner behind it, which bore the message, White Lives Matter Burnley. Now, as you just touched on, uh, <laughs> White Lives Matter is a phrase which has been adopted largely by white supremacist organisations in response to the anti-racist Black Lives Matter movement, which has found such huge momentum since the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis uh, last month. It's found particular momentum in, in the Premier League, where the players have been wearing uh, Black Lives Matter written out on the back of their shirts, and where the players tonight, Manchester City and Burnley, took the knee in a gesture of solidarity with the Black Lives Matter movement. And not 10 minutes later, this plane appears mm. in the sky above them. Now, Burnley have um, issued this statement. They did so very quickly um, this evening after this event occurred. We wish to make it clear that those responsible are not welcome at Turf Moor, they say. That's Burnley's home ground. This in no way represents what Burnley Football Club stands for. And we will work fully with the authorities to identify those responsible and issue lifetime bans to them. Now, I've just yeah. done a quick internet search upstairs, Tom. It costs anything between 900 two and a half thousand pounds to put a message like this in the air. So it clearly took a great deal of planning and preparation. Okay, all right. Thank you very much indeed. And another thing. It's like, how can this make sense? Like, it, you should be on the same standards, no? Like, there's a protest movement of black, the BLM, Black Lives Matter, and they are the condemned the Black Lives Matter, which, in its words, makes sense. The movement is a fucking asshole. Here's the fucking, the, what they actually want, because we know the group doesn't want equality. They, we heard the, from the talk radio that they don't want to stop. They want to make sure everything is fucking terrible. Read the list. They want people dead. They want to make sure white families are fucking minority. They want power. It's not in crosses in real life. But. We get there. Only just the other day we had. Three people. Murdered by a different coloured person. No, nothing. Nothing about it. Absolutely fuck out. Fuck out. Two guys that were gay. 
And so I think there were two of them were gay, two LGBT guys. So they're assuming they were just being peaceful. And then this Libyan refugee with apparent this mental disorders goes and kills three of them and stabs heaps of other people. That's okay because you're killing off the white people, right? That makes complete sense in the fucking words. 19 minute mark, here we fucking go. Jesus Christ. And then you had the guy's brother coming down saying, well, the UK is just racist anyway. How the fuck is that condemning the fucking murders? Like, white the, the, the words of white lives matter on the, bo the poster or the thing is exactly the same as black lives matter. But then when you hear all these people, the me media outlets going off about this, they don't fucking understand what it means because it's white people. It's fucking... Oh, man. Oh, fuck. And going back to the football game, we had the Ben Me. Uh, I think it's Ben Me speaking about the football game. And, you know, he couldn't just... He was, a talk, he was, he was there to talk about the match, right? He was there to talk about the match, how it went, but he's like, Oh, first, first, I better talk about the fucking plane. The plane, I better get my woke points here. You didn't get woke points for that. Here, I'm going to show you the clip here, I'm going to talk through the fucking thing. Yeah, ben, just how tough a night was that? Um, yeah, it was a tough night. Um, I mean, we can we can talk about football, but it's something you know I, I want to speak about first, that um, the, the, the aeroplane that went out before the, you know, uh, at the beginning of the, the game. Yeah, that's that's great. Just you you're here. Sorry, you you you're just here to talk about the fit bar. But no 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 no. First, I must talk about the plane. The plane is most important because that just it devastated us. It made us lose a fucking fit bar game because it took our morale to the fucking limits. Ugh. Um, I'm ashamed. I'm embarrassed to um, that a small number of our fans that. Have have uh, decided to, to put that around the stadium. Um, completely missed the point. Um, group of lads in there are, are embarrassed to, you know, to see that. And is there a point to this? Is there a legit point to this? Fucking hell. Am I going to have to figure out what you're trying to say here? Or am I just going to let the audience figure this out for themselves? I'm going to let the audience figure this out for themselves because I trust them to use their common sense. It's not what we're, what we're about at all. Um, missed the point of the whole thing that we're trying to trying to achieve, trying to do. I think these people that need to need to come into the 21st century and and educate themselves and you know as, as a lot of us do and you know like I can say completely missed the point of the whole thing that, that we're trying to achieve and um, it does not represent what we're about, what the club's about, what the players are about, and what the majority of the fans are about for sure. Jesus Christ, man. Are you leading off a piece of fucking paper? Ah, oh. it's like they 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 need to catch up to a first century. I mean, right now we're fucking turning back the pages. We might as well be bu building ghettos for the black folk and the Asian folk and the fucking white folk. We're turning to that kind of country now, where we might as well do years and years program of ghettoing certain fucking ethnicities to stop them from killing each other or hurting them. That makes us sound really fucking acceptable, doesn't it? No, okay, let's go and accept the uh, try and figure out what it is, right? Uh, it's the fact that you guys can't handle it and you guys work so hard. Like, all you had to do was pander to the fucking mob and that was it. All you did was pander to the mob and that was all you needed to fucking do. That was it. What a joke. Let's go back to the article where, you know, I said Bernie apologised for planes, white lives matter, because I, I forgot I had to go over that thing again. The Cesta Light Craft reported over, owned by the company of Blackpool, that specialities in aircraft banner towing appeared just after the players had taken a need to support Black Light, Lives Matter before the kickoff. The plane remained above the air nearly stadium for up to four minutes. With, with a number of players appealing to shake their heads in disapproval. What a shame. 
Lancaster, sorry, Lancaster Canterbury's East Division of Football Unit, whose responsibilities including policing Burnley Games, promise action. They tweeted, We are aware of the incident and occurred tonight before the game. Ourselves at Burnley Official FC are aware and we fully investigate thanks to the tweets and reports. Oh my god. I mean, fucking hell. How fucking bad does it have to get for, for this to happen? I mean, really? Investigating this. Like like I said, Black Lives Matter can kill people, but black, white lives are not significant enough. Three people, white people, get killed by a different color eth ethnicity person the other day. The me news goes absolutely nuts as soon as they f find out it was actually what three white people. And then... The White Lives Matter is somehow worse? White supremacists? Get the fuck. And it's like the fact, it's not even that, even government ministers are in this. Government ministers have condemned the stunt, or condemned the stunt. Brandon Lewis, the Northern Iron Secretary, described the banner as a really stupid thing to do. He told the LBC banner had been inappropriate, showed bad judgment. Um, no, it was not bad judgment. It was actually quite clever. Because the fact that you should, did, they did that, the guy who did they fucking credit to him. Because the fact that you were going to show the exact same banner, just like BLM, Black Lives Matter, the show White Lives Matter, is just to show exactly what happened. The media went fucking nuts. It was like a troll that got its meat. It's fucking amazing when you see the people react in the way that you want them to. I don't really do trolling. I don't want to do trolling. But it's fucking great when somebody bites your catch, isn't it? A lot of us know how that feels. It's fucking great. Especially when these lefties go nuts. But the guy who did it, he's not sorry at all. And I've given the whole condemn to that. The guy who did it was this amazing lad called Jake Heppel, I believe his no name was, Jake Heppel. And he had no condemn for this at all, and he was like, he wasn't going to apologise. He's not going to absolutely apologise to fucking nobody, like he fucking says here. What a lad. Honestly, what a lad he is. Not You never bend the knee to the mob, especially that mob, because... Even if you apologize, it's not good enough. You have to be dead before it's ever good enough. Like, leader here, the Bernie fan claimed responsibility for arranging the White Lives Matter banner to be flown over the M Field Stadium on Monday evening. It was Monday. Uh, the plane flew overhead moments just after the game started, bloody there. Uh, Lancaster shared a video of the plane flying over the M Field Stadium. On his Facebook page and posted a message which he refused to apologize to the stunt with this amazing quote here. He wrote, I'd love to take time to apologize to absolutely fucking nobody. Yes! Fucking legend! Don't fucking apologize! Because you apologize, you're in more shit than you ever believed. Well done to him. And it's it's absolutely amazing how he just like no, I'm not taking this. I it's it's a it's like I said again. I'm gonna keep saying this until I'm blue in the face with my own words. The exact same thing. Black lives matter. White lives matter. All lives matter is under the same banner. But the media outlets don't get it. The news doesn't like it. I know all that is. They just absolutely hate it. And if you look at the Pierce Morgan and whoever she's with, uh, he's with, um, they looked at the this as well, and they completely misunderstood what the hell they were talking about. Here you go. Here's the footage of them on Good Morning Britain. That was, it's fucking nuts how they don't even get it. They need to re-educate. <laughs> Interesting for anyone who's confused about why that banner causes offence. 
Because nobody is saying white lives don't matter, but it completely misses the point of the Black Lives Matter movement. No, you, you do, because you condemn Black Lives Matter, but if white people were to get involved, you will absolutely shit shame them to face. Because we know you don't care a shit about white people. Despite your fucking white, Pierce is white, and I, good, I bet a good majority of fucking crew and associates are white. But maybe you just have that all that white guilt or something. But maybe, maybe there's something I'm missing. I'm probably not missing a lot, but maybe it's the fact that you actually don't condemn the Black Lives Matter actual meaning or what they want. Because they want so much from us. They they want us to be just like them. They want us to be like a devolved South African country. Not fucking happening. So Kick It Out, which is English football's anti-racism charity, said that the banner gravely misunderstands the Black Lives Matter initiative. Oh, please. I really want to know the answer to this one because I bet it's going to be so amazing because it's going to be so condemning, it's going to be so thoughtful. I mean, it's it's going to be absolutely amazing, isn't it? Because, you know, all this white lives... <sighs> Kane. Really something here. I, I, let's go and hear what the hell their actual answer is. Go on. And the organisers' chair, Sanjay Bandari, explains it like this. The point of Black Lives Matter is not to diminish the importance of other people's lives. It is to highlight that black people are being denied certain human rights simply by virtue of the colour of their skin. It's about equality. We shall continue to support the Black Lives Matter movement and the fight for greater equality for all. So why is it they already have these lights already? They have them. They're not any different because of this colour of their skin. That is just racist in itself. And about the Black Lives Movement itself, it's not, a, it's not a good thing. Well, most of it is got a good intention, but it's not a good thing. Then why is it when White Lives Matter... Sorry, when Black Lives Matter... You allow them to do whatever they fucking like, tear down statues and whatever, they can do whatever they want, but when it comes to White Lives Matter, they get treated differently. Even police investigations. Why? We know why, because you're fucking racist towards your own kind. Wow, this is how the Empire feels in Star Wars, isn't it? Jesus Christ. No wonder they don't like the aliens. Jesus. That's not probably even close. But, oh man. You, you just don't get it, do you? The fact is, you lot all bit the fucking bait. You got the troll bait. It was exactly what you... That guy did an amazing job. He just exposed you lot all for what they were worth. No wonder you're getting your view rates are absolutely low. And even when Piers Morgan talked about it, it was bad too, and I just... I couldn't even be bothered recording him say it, because I, I... that's just... It was sad. It was... it was literally sad to... Listen to him. Fucking hell. It was bad, because I don't think he knows himself. Like, what the actual Black Lives Matter movement actually does, or what it's actually there for, I don't think he knows. Really. I think he knows the legit of it, but he doesn't know the actual full extent of what the hell it all means. Because if you are so equal in the responsibility of everyone's lives, they should all be equal. And I know that line, all lives matter, can be contradictory to a certain extent. I figured that out myself, but then again, if you want equality for black people, why are you saying black lives should be more important than white people? That sounds like the stuff the neo-Nazis said. Like all the black people were under them. So the light response against a neo-Nazi would be the thing they're above them. 
Wow, we're going back to the fucking 30s with this logic, aren't we? It's fucking nuts. I mean, I don't get how you guys do it. And even Blackpool Airport, of all people, got this too. This is this is great. Blackpool Airport suspends banner flights. Oh no! <laughs> uh, Blackpool Airport has suspended banner flights from its base after the message "White Lives Matter" was blown in the airplane over the stadium. Blah blah. blah. Lancaster police also investigated banner flown over the city. Blah blah. blah. In a statement, Manager Steph Stephen Smith said the airport at Blackpool Council are outraged by the incident. Burnley said they are ashamed and embarrassed by the banner. Blackpool Airport says the incident was reported to the Chief at, at the Civil Activation Authority. Fucking hell, you got them. The statement added, We stand against leasing of all kind and absolutely do not condone the activity. The message and was offensive. Oh. You do not condone it was offensive, okay. And the action, the apprehensive, okay. The decision to fly the banner was taken entirely by the banner flying company without our knowledge approval of its Blackpool Council. 1984 here. Due to the nature of activity, the banners are not checked before takeoff and the con content is at the operator's discretion. Wow! Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Jesus. Um I, I, I don't even know how to respond to that. Fucking hell. This is just insane. Like you don't want racism, but you can be offensive to every white person you can imaginable. Two-faced pricks, eh? Wow. I mean, it, like I said again, I'm going to say this again. Black lives matter, white lives matter, all lives matter. Stop being racist and signifying groups into certain divisions until we make ghettos for each one of them. But maybe that's just a bit too far. But it's probably the late that we're going in. Because, remember, three white guys, including the LGBT, actually, why are you not supporting the LGBT? If this was a terrorist attack instead of a murder, why are you not condemning them lot? Or maybe you don't care because that guy was Muslim. Hmm. Anyway, the White Lives Matter banner... What the fuck? How can you be so stupid? Ugh. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And the number, Hail the Empire!